Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Estoy notando que envié la, la invitación errada. Permítanme. Sí, pero ese es el fondo que me mataron. Un segundito. Ok, probablemente muchos se metieron donde no era. No. Then this is the link for the class or what? Yeah, yeah. I'm sending the right link for the class. So I sent the wrong one. I sent the wrong one, but I got it already. Okay. So. Okay. How are you guys? Hello. How are you guys? Fine, teacher. Okay, so we're just waiting for the rest. Okay, today we t we're going to talk about um, we're going to talk about simple past. Okay, this this actually works. Okay, that's better. So we're going to talk about simple past. Okay. How do we structure the simple past? When do we use it? Which is very important uh, to understand that the simple past is an action that happened in the past, but it didn't have a, a continuation. It's just one thing that happened one time and that's it. Like Jose, for example, Jose drank juice. Jose drank juice. Okay, that happened, that just happened, and it's past, it's done, it's over. So one action in the past. Jose, can you give me an example, another example? I don't know, teacher, if, if be able to say, uh, she, she had the book. She had the book. Ella tenía el libro. Yeah, she had the book. Perfect. Excellent. Very good. So right now, we're going to use a subject plus a verb in the past. Okay? So you can understand this better. Let me share with you something that I, I send you. I send you this list of verbs. Remember? So you live in the same house for five years. Lived. Excellent. Lived. 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 Yeah, lived. That's another thing. We're going to talk about the ED endings at one point. But right now, we're going to focus on the, on the structure, the structure of the simple past. So it's very simple. It is very simple. So... Now you can use the second column of the list that I send you. I send you the irregular verbs list and they are called irregulars because they change like Ricky Martin. They change completely. Okay. So if you say arise, <laughs> somebody got the joke. Okay. So if you say arise in present, it changes to arose arose okay if you say bear you say bore okay bit bit you see some verbs don't change you know they're the same writing in present and in past look at this bet bet it's the same thing it's the same thing i think hit let me see hit h h h h here it is okay hit hit same thing hurt hurt okay mm -hmm. so yeah. keep an eye keep an eye on that uh, 
the headache of learning English is the verbs in past and past participle, which we will talk about that later, okay? So, just before uh, we continue, let's start with the platform. We have to take a look at the platform in order to, hold on, make sure we get that, just one second. There it is, okay. Whoa. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen with you so we can start uh, talking about the platform. So we can see um, the past. Let's talk about the past. Okay. Gonna mute everyone. Okay, my friend, Jose, start. Jose Cabrero, Jose Cabrero, can you okay. read, can you read the um, objective? Well, you hear me, right? Yeah, I hear you, perfect. Okay, uh, in this section, participants will listen to a conversation about two teachers. It's, it's difficult for me to read this. Why? I don't, I don't see good in the screen. Oh, okay. Hold well, on. Two people and she act. <laughs> there you go. One, two, three, go, Jose. Now, now. In this section, participants will listen to our conversations about two people and the activities they did. Uh, I don't see nothing, teacher, with the mini screens. Really? Here. Okay. They did during the past weekend. During the past weekend. Okay, very good. Great job, Jose. So repeat, session. 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 There you go. Shun, 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 shun. Okay. And session. All... <laughs> session. Session. And remember, this guy, this guy here, the. Mm. In this case, you have a vowel. So you say the activities. Okay. The activities they did during the past the weekend. Activities. The activity. What happened when there are vowels and consonants? Right. If you have a consonant after the article the, then you say the, the, the car, the, the, the car. The, 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 the. Excellent. The door. Very good, Patricia. The door. But if you have a vowel, if you have a vowel, you say the, the. Okay. Listen. Listen, in this session, participants will listen to a conversation about two people and the activities they did during the past weekend. Okay? Let's get it. Let's get it done. Let's go with the video. There's a video on this section. And by the way, we are on 2.1. That's the content where we are right now, 2.1 for pre-intermediate. So let me make the screen bigger and make sure you see the whole thing. So please pay attention and we're gonna practice this conversation, okay? Okay, here we go. Into the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay, so there you go. Oh, hold on. Okay, when that happened. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me just get rid of that. Okay, so if you heard the important part of these audios is for you to practice your speaking practice 
you're speaking as many times as you can. So let me copy the text and I will send it to you right now. Okay. Okay, there you go. You have the image on your WhatsApp, so you can swip, swap, you can swap the screens and look at the video again. I will read the video. Mm -hmm. I will read the conversation one more time and you can look at me or actually listen to me and read the conversation from the image I just sent you. Got it? Yes. Good, okay. Got it. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, so let's go part by part. It says, so, what do you do last weekend, Meg? So, what do you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I had a great time. Quiero que noten lo que estoy haciendo. Uh, cada vez que hay una T de tomate o una D de dedo entre dos vocales, se convierte en R. No, R, R. So, again, so what do, you, what do you do, what do you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a, I had a great time. I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. Saturday. Okay, it's not Saturday, no, Satter, 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 okay, Saturday, Patricia? Saturday. Okay, repeat, Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. Es una E, es una E, Satter, Satter, Satter. Ya casi, ya casi, Saturday. 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 Yes, okay, so sang with some friends on Saturday. Saturday. That sounds like fun. Listen, that sounds like fun. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? Did you go to Lucky's? Oh, did you go to? Did you go to? Did you go to Lucky's? Did you go to? Did you go to Go to Lucky's. Did you go to Lucky's? Good, Patricia. Very good. <laughs> yeah, we didn't. Listen, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Listen, how about you? How about you? Recuerden no decir you. Que les explicaba por qué. How about you? Did you go anywhere? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I, okay, pay attention to this. I just stayed, I just stayed home and started, and started for today's Spanish test. And hay varias cosas que resaltar en ese texto. So, para empezar, los ed endings es algo que vamos a ver luego, ¿sí? La palabra stay es un verbo, es un verbo uh, regular, es un verbo regular. Entonces, se, lo, se le agrega ed, es lo que vamos a tocar este día. Se le agrega ed al verbo stay en su forma base, en presente, para hacerlo pasado. Es lo más sencillo, ¿no? Ahora bien, la pronunciación... ¿Sí? De las, los verbos que terminan con sonido vocal, al agregarles ed, esa ed suena d, d. Listen, I just stayed, I just stayed home and started, listen, and started, en este caso, quité la y y agregué ied, ¿sí? Started for today's Spanish test. So, dos cosas. Stayed, started, 
Y la otra, les decía que cuando hay dos S, cuando una, una palabra o un verbo termina en S y la que sigue empieza con S, no hacemos una pausa, ¿ok? Decimos, today's Spanish, today's Spanish test. Okay, so I'm going to read it again. No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and started for today's Spanish test. Our, listen, our Spanish test is today. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. I forgot all about that. Listen, I forgot all about that. I forgot all about that. Don't worry. Don't worry. You always get an A. Don't worry. You always get an A. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay. So, I, I hope you were, you were repeating, repeating with me, okay? Reading through the lines. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Any questions? For for good or for good or for good about for good about that. For good about for good about easy easy perfect for perfect about. yeah that's very simple for, for good about that for good about that I forgot about that. See okay. very good. Okay. Any other? Any other question? Yeah? Teacher, I have a question, teacher. Yes, uh, Froilan. Froilan, el solo para, uh, only difference in the, the hora y nosotros. Our es que... Oh, good, good, good. Problema. Okay. La pronunciación. It's very similar. It's very similar. You say our... Our... An hour. <laughs> okay. Repeat. Freeland, repeat. Can you repeat me? An hour. An hour. An hour. An hour. Yeah, let me Only let me do something really an quick. Hour. An hour. Yeah. An hour. Okay, so you can say an hour. Okay, you can say an hour. An hour. An hour, an hour, an hour, an hour. Esa E debe de ser bien suave. An hour. An hour. An hour. Okay. An hour. Hour. An hour. Oh. Que sería hour, hour, hour. Casi como pronunciar la letra R, la letra R en inglés. Hour, 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 hour. Our, our, our house, our house, our house. Our house. Mm -hmm. An hour. Yeah. Okay, so here you will say our. Any hour. Okay. Any hour. Any hour. Any hour. 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 I, I have a question, teacher. Uh, teacher, good evening. In Solo un segundo. Emperatriz, un segundo. Okay. Aclarando. Yo no puedo preguntar, what's the hour? Ok, no puedo preguntar eso, ok, eso jamás lo vayan a hacer, por favor. What's the hour? No, 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 solo aclarando, eh, por si surgía esa duda. Time? No, tampoco, what's the time? No. How, how, how do you, what time is it? Yeah. Got it? Ok, be careful with that. Yes, Emperatriz. Ok. Uh, yes, with the word um, aire, ar, ¿cómo se ve ahí la pronunciación de, no, for example, we are? We are. Uh -huh. You just did it, lo acabas de hacer. Perfecto. Escucho que es similar a de ar de, de nosotros, siento que es similar a la... Ah, a esas otras dos que está escribiendo ahí de, de oh. hora y... Uh, ¿Te suena similar? Weird. Contractuado, uh -huh. quizás. Quizás será. Oh, ok. ¿Y si no está contractado? Ok, we, we are. 
Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Simple. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Se llama sonidos homófonos. Hay un video en YouTube sobre sonidos homófonos. Um, nos ocurre, ¿no? Desde pequeños aprendemos a hablar español de una manera igual. En español hay palabras homófonas, pues igual en inglés, ¿no? Estamos asimilando eso de esa manera, me parece. Muy bien. Ok. Any other question? Thank you, No? Ok. So, let's practice. As you know, if you noticed, there are two people in this conversation, Rick and Mech. We are 18, so I'm going to split the class in groups of four or two, so we can practice, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, bien, por ahí me piden que apague los micrófonos de todos. Sí, si ustedes están en un ambiente con mucho ruido, sí, porfa, eh, por respeto a sus compañeros, pues traten de estar un poquito silenciados, okay? Bien, vamos a comenzar a dividir la clase para que todos puedan practicar, ¿ok? 3, 2, 1, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, Eric and Maria, please accept the invitation. Aceptemos la invitación, porfa. Which invitation? I, I didn't have any. No le cayó la invitación ahorita, entonces vamos a hacer que... No. María Guzmán, vamos a moverla al grupo de... Acá, ok, tiene que haber una invitación en su pantalla. ¿Hoy sí? No. Aún no, ok. Vamos a ver. Ok, ¿y ahora? Yes. Ok, please hit the link. Rick. Ok. Rick. Um, so, what did you do last week in Mac? Janira? I'm sorry, I have a question. I have a problem. Okay, okay beginning, uh, uh, beginning uh, with Karen. Uh, okay. I am Rick, and you are Mac. So, what did you okay. do last weekend, Mac? Oh, I had a great time. Great. I went, great, great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go, did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere that whole weekend. Whole oh, weekend. I didn't stay home and studied for today's for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot. I forgot. That's my question. I, I forgot how. I forgot. I forgot about all, that. All about that. All about Don't that. I Don't forgot. Worry. Uh, okay. Continue. Esta palabra me cuesta. Esta palabra me cuesta. I sí. Por eso les he dicho que cuando lean, lean primer, la primera vez, despacio articulando. Ok. No se preocupen. So, decíamos, I forgot. Karen. I forgot, I forgot. All about that. All about that. All about that. Más rápido. All about that. All, all about, about that. All about that. All about that. Perfect. All about that. Okay, Carlos. Uh, don't worry, you always got an A. Perfect. Get an A. You see? 
Yeah, so very good. We have to practice part by part, yes. articulating, articulating every word at this point. La velocidad la vamos a adquirir ya en avanzado. Ahí sí, o sea, okay. si ustedes se ponen a leer cualquier cosa ahorita, a escuchar cualquier audio en este momento y repetir, 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 hasta que les duela la lengua, entonces, créanme, esto va a ser súper fácil, ¿ok? Esto depende de su compromiso con ustedes mismos, recuerden, ¿ok? Yanira, okay. continue. Ok, guys, keep going. Now, Yanira will be uh, Meg, and, I don't know, Karen can be Rick, ¿ok? Ok. Good. Great job. Keep going. Thank you, teacher. So, uh, so, what did you do last weekend, Meg? What happened? Janira? I forgot. I... <laughs> Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all, that, all about that. Don't worry. You always get on. Hey. hey. Okay. A little bit a little bit faster, Danny. Don't worry, you always get an A. Don't Danny? Worry. You always get an A. Perfect. There you go. Okay, one more hey. time, please. Hey, one thing. Don't rush. Don't run. Don't run. Read part by part. Articulate every word you say right now. La velocidad la van a adquirir en avanzado, ¿ok? Ahorita articulen todas las palabras que digan, ¿ok? So, do it again, do it again. One, two, three, go. Okay. Eh, creo, voy a empezar yo y, y la compañera. Ok. No. ¿Sí? Sí. Ok. okay. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to watch that new place downtown. How are you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied his Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about, uh, all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Good, very good. You always get an A. You always get an A. Esa parte la podemos unir. You always get an A. Okay. One more time. One more time, guys. Keep going. Keep going. Repetition. Great job. Okay. okay. Do, do it one more time. One more time. Teacher. Yeah. Loki is on the said That sounds like fun. Did you go to Loki? Did you go to did you go to Lockheed? Very good. Ulises, very good. Yeah, keep, you're done. We are done. We're done. We are done. We're done. Done. We are done. See what I see. This is we are dumb. <laughs> it's like dumb ass. Like dumb. Like dumb. <laughs> Nirvana tiene una canción que se llama Dumb. Sí, eh, tontito, ¿verdad? Somos tontitos. No. We're done. d o -N -E. Estamos hechos. Ok, ya terminamos. Good. Any questions? Any questions? No? Ok. No. no I ok. Don't I don't have any questions. Do it one more time. Do it again. Ok. Ok, keep going. Keep going and keep it real. Yeah, there you go. You always get a get a get a night. Get a name. You always get a name. You always get a name. Very good. 
Get a get a get a name. Get a name. You always get a name. Very good. Any questions? Any words? Difficult words? Karaoke bar and some. Yes. Sound. Sounds. Oh, that sounds like fun. That sounds like fun. That sounds like fun. Fun. No, teacher. I mean... Um, Did you go to Lucky's? Oh, I had a great time. I went to karaoke bar and some. Oh, okay. The is correct. And sang. Yeah, you did it. Very good. And okay. sang with some friends on Saturday. Saturday. Yes. Saturday. Lucky's. Is Lucky's Saturday. or Lucky's? Saturday. Lucky's. Lucky's. Lucky's el perrito. Lucky's. Ajá. Lucky's el de... ¿Cuál? Los Avengers, Loki. Sí, 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 muy bien, muy bien. Loki. Excellent. Bueno, ok. Very good, ok. Vamos a regresar todos a la, a la sala okay. principal, ok? Let's go. Ok, okay gracias. Okay, guys, we're just coming back from the break rooms. So we can continue. Okay, so we're back. Let's continue with the lesson. Then we are 18, so let's wait for the rest. Creo que todos están entretenidos platicando con sus grupos. Okay, In just one second. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Okay, so we're back. We're coming back. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. I noticed, I noticed some difficulty with this pronunciation, okay? Or to reinforce what we are about to talk about. So if you say, what did you do? It's okay. What did you do? But what did you do? Yeah, that's what you say. You say what did you do? Okay, or what do you do? Okay. You on simple present you said what do you do? Okay. But the right pronunciation or the natural pronunciation is what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Oh Wa, wait. What do you, what do you do? What do you do? Simple present? <laughs> Simple present, pronunciation, pronunciation. Simple past, pronunciation. Okay? So repeat. What do you do? What do you do? What do you, you do? What do you do? What easy, easy. What do you do? Yeah, what do you do? yeah. What do you do last weekend? What do you do yesterday? What do you do on your last vacation? Or what do you do for a living? What do you do every day? What do you? What do you? That's simple present. Okay. So in past, which is the topic for today, we say what do you, what do you do? On the conversation, it said, what do you, what do, you do on Saturday? Well, what, what do you do last weekend? What do you do last weekend, right? Okay. Now, the next sentence, I forgot all about that. Ahora tenemos una T entre dos vocales, la O y la A, ¿verdad? 
Ajá, ¿cómo sería, Ulises? I, for, I forgot all, I forgot all about that. I forgot, Excellent. I forgot all. I forgot all. I forgot all about that. Who said that? Carlos? <laughs> Good. I forgot all about that. Listen, I forgot all about that. I forgot all about that. I forgot that. about that. I forgot all about that. I forgot all about that. Okay, ¿por qué te está costando? ¿Por qué se te está haciendo difícil? Porque lo normal que has de haber escuchado antes es esto. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Más fácil, ¿no? I forgot about that. Se me olvidó eso. Pero al agregarle el all sería, se me olvidó por completo eso. Oh. Oh, excellent. That's English. That's that's English. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to hear I don't want to hear I don't want to hear ah or oh, achieve. No, you say oh <laughs> okay. Yeah, three three months in the United States and you come back and you say oh oh see si? oh see si? okay <laughs> Okay, so I forgot all about that. I forgot all about that. Listen, I forgot all. I forgot all about that. I forgot all about that. Perfect. Yes. I forgot all about that. Yes. There you go. Okay, and the last one was you always get an A. You always, you always get an A. Always get an A. Excellent. You always you get an A. Always get an A. Perfect. That's the way. That's the way you say it. Thank you, guys. Very good. Okay. Let's move on to the next topic. So, what do we get? Okay. Let's go with the next thing here on the platform. Any questions? Hey, any questions? No, 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 no. I, I, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Just what is the meaning? Get an A. Get an, Get an A. A. Oh, okay. Let's see, Jose. In the American standard for grading, when you grade an exam, in America, you say A, or actually A plus A. B plus B. Yeah, this is A will be a nine, nine point, yeah, nine, a nine. In some schools, 9.5. In our ah, language. Grades, 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 yes, grades, yeah, yeah. grades. Yeah, there grades. you go. Yeah, qualifications. Okay, yeah, let's All go right. with the next topic. Okay, so we can start, so we can introduce to the structure of the simple past. Uh, cutting. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> let, let me, let, let me uh, do this bigger. Is... Wait, wait, wait. Let me silence everyone. Please turn on your microphone, Karen. Okay. There you go. Let me help you, Karen. Oh, somehow, there it is. Okay, okay. Karen, okay. please, one, okay. two, three, go. In this session, simple pass, question, and answer will be introduced irregular and regular verbs. Will also be that. Excellent, very good. Listen, repeat. Uh, but you say here, question. Questions. Question. 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 In plural, questions. Questions. Perfect. Questions and Perfect. Answer. Okay, repeat. Answers. Answers. Olvídese. Answers. Olvidémonos de la W. No está aquí la W, ok? Sería answers. Answers. Por cierto, esto está mal escrito, ojo, eh. Esto está mal escrito. Answer. Sí, es answers. Answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, repeat, Karen. Answer. Okay. Answers. answers. Excellent. Excellent. Answers will be, okay. intro will be. introduced. 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 
Ahora, las palabras, pues gracias Karen, lo, eh, los verbos en pasado, eh, los verbos regulares, terminan en ed, ed, o se les agrega de nada más, como en el caso de esta palabra, la palabra en su forma base, o el verbo en su forma base es introduce, listen, introduce, introduce. Entonces, introduce. cuando una palabra termina, un verbo termina en, o en este caso en e, se le agrega de para hacerle un verbo, co, uh, un verbo regular en pasado. Y el sonido de esa de es t. ¿Sí? Porque termina en el sonido s. Entonces, introduce. Introduce. Ok. Introduce. Perfect, Karen. Muy bien. Ahora, este sería un verbo irregular. ¿Qué quiere decir taught? Oí. Taught. Pensamiento. Oh, casi. Close, very close. Pensó. Sí. Ok, de hecho, eh, es lo que yo estoy haciendo con ustedes ahorita, ¿eh? Aprender. Teach. Ahí está. Teach, talk. Es un verbo irregular. Cambia por completo su forma. Ahorita vamos a hablar de esto. Teach, talk. Teach, Taught. ¿Ok? Bien. Eh, y les decía al principio, el dolor de cabeza de toda persona que, habla, que aprende inglés fue mi dolor de cabeza durante muchos años aprenderme los verbos irregulares y los regulares. Es decir, los verbos en pasado. Una recomendación, chicos, es aprenderse los verbos, tanto el pasado como el participio de una sola vez, para que no volvás después a tener que repasarlo todo. Y se te va a hacer muchísimo más fácil. Ahorita te voy a dar una clave de cómo aprender las estructuras gramaticales. No solamente para el pasado, sino que cualquier estructura gramatical con la tarea, creo que se los expliqué en su momento, eh, tu cerebro necesita aprender algo. Y es que hay una manera diferente de hablar. ¿sí? Que cuando tú decías yo, ahora vas a decir I. Que cuando tú decías cómo, ahora vas a decir it. Si decías yo comí, Vas a decir, I ate. Entonces, nos ubicamos en el tiempo. El pasado simple nos sirve para hablar de acciones que ocurrieron en el pasado, pero solo una vez y no tuvieron continuidad en el tiempo. Sí, ya vamos a abordar eso rapidito. Vamos a ver el video súper rápido y luego vamos a ir paso a paso para que la estructura quede clarísima como el agua, ¿ok? So, voy a silenciar a todos. Por favor, pongamos atención. Let's pay attention. Why am I speaking Spanish? Just one second, please. Three, two, one. In this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used it? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. Okay. 
So let's come back. Ok, chicos. Esta es la primera vez que muchos de ustedes ven la estructura del pasado, ¿sí? Pues lo vamos a abordar de español, en español de una manera súper rápida, eh, sin darle tantas vueltas. Okay. Y lo vamos a hacer de esta manera. Primero vamos a hablar del uso de ese tiempo gramatical. Pero antes de eso, Eric, Eric Quintanilla. Eh, ¿Me podrías decir una oración en pasado simple en español, Eric? Hello. Hi, Eric. En español, en español ahorita. Necesito español, necesito que nos ubiquemos en el tiempo ahorita, ¿ok? Con this. Eh, no, en Hi. español, en español, Eric. Una oración en pasado simple en español. <coughs> ah, este, yo, yo fui a jugar fútbol ayer. Perfecto, yo fui a jugar fútbol ayer. Ok, Patricia, por ahí, otra, otra oración en pasado simple. Yo trabajé en línea todo el día. Excelente, muy bien. Ahora, Eric, Patricia, pásenme esas oraciones a preguntas. En pasado. Ay. Siempre en español, en español. Ah, ah eh, repito, por favor. Sí, tú dijiste, Patricia, eh, yo trabajé en línea ayer todo el día. Sí. Ok, ¿cómo sería la pregunta? Sería... Um, I did... I was working. <ríe> no, ok, chicos. Español, ah. español. Necesito que tú digas... Ah. Y que lo hagamos en pregunta, eh, ¿trabajaste, en es, trabajaste, es, trabajaste todo el día hoy? Ajá, ¿trabajaste en línea todo el día? Sí, ¿Hoy? en la de Eric. Dijo Eric, yo fui a jugar he fútbol. Say, he say, I went to the... I went to play to soccer. Play. I went to play soccer. Yesterday, creo que dijo. Yo fui a jugar fútbol ayer. La pregunta sería, ¿fuiste a jugar fútbol ayer? Ok, ya nos ubicamos en el tiempo. Entonces, el tiempo simple es lo que vamos a hablar ahorita. ¿Para qué nos sirve el presente, el pasado simple? Ok, eh, pues lo podemos ocupar para una serie de acciones completadas en el pasado. Es decir, no tuvieron continuidad. El primer ejemplo que tienen acá en su pantalla. Yo visité a mi abuela. Ok, y me quedé por una o dos horas. Chateé con ella y me fui a mi casa. El segundo ejemplo, mi hermano se despertó, se lavó su cara, se vistió y se fue de la casa. Ok. Eh, también lo podemos utilizar para acciones completadas en el pasado también, de nuevo. Hmm. Esta, eh, la primera era una serie de acciones. La siguiente solamente es una acción. He went to Paris Two days ago. Se fue a París hace dos días. We saw him last Sunday. Lo vimos el sábado, el domingo pasado, ¿no? I heard a terrible explosion last night. Escuché una terrible explosión ayer. También se puede utilizar para eh, un periodo singular con expresiones de tiempo. He had a girlfriend. Él tuvo una novia por tres años, por tres years. My father talked on the phone for five minutes. Mi padre habló en el teléfono por cinco minutos. She chose to stay with her mother all day. <coughs> Perdón. So, ella eligió estar, dice, con su madre todo el día. Y la última, se puede utilizar para hábitos en el pasado y se está utilizándose con uh, adverbios de frecuencia. Parece que les explicaba un poco en el chat esto. I always did my homework on time when I was a student. Siempre hice mi tarea a tiempo cuando era un estudiante. My father often read, ojo con esto, no es read, tiene la misma escritura, pero es pasado, es un verbo irregular. Miren qué irregular es. Es read, ahora es red como el color. My father often read me tales before I went to bed. Mi padre usualmente me leía cuentos antes de irme a la cama. When I was young, I walked 10 miles to 
workplace every day. Cuando era joven, caminaba a mi lugar de trabajo 10 millas todos los días. Bien, so, vamos a hablar de cómo es la estructura del presente, de, digo, del pasado simple. Estamos viendo preguntas cerradas. Y pues, por ahí, por ahí... Hola, sorry. Questions? No, no, estaba, estaba viendo la, la estructura de ¿Sí? la escritura. Ok, bien, eso es lo que vamos a ver ahorita en este preciso momento súper rápido antes de terminar la clase. Nos quedan 10 minutos. So, pre, paren las orejas. Vamos a hablar clarito y pelado. ¿Cómo es? Allá decías, ¿no? ¿Cuál era el auxiliar del presente simple? Do. ¿Sí? Ok, bien. Allá ocupábamos do para el presente simple. Y puedo decir, do you work on Saturday? Ok. Allá tendría que decir, yes, I do. I work all day. Bien. La regla del pasado dice que el auxiliar ya no es do, ahora es did. Y lo mismo para contestar sería did. Yes, I did. Y aquí... Una oración afirmativa, el verbo iría en pasado. Lo que Jessica explicaba en el video, ¿sí? Es que al tener el auxiliar presente, yo voy a respetar eso y el verbo se va a mantener en su forma base. Rápidamente, y eso lo vamos a ir abarcando paso a paso. La estructura del pasado simple, ¿ok? La estructura del pasado simple sería sujeto más un verbo, ojo con esto, en pasado, ¿okay? más un complemento. Es muy similar al, al, um, al presente simple. Estoy hablando de una oración en afirmativa. Una oración afirmativa sería sujeto más verbo en pasado más el complemento. Sería el auxiliar primero, ¿no? No. Eh, no, estamos hablando, estoy hablando de una oración afirmativa, Patricia. Ya. Yeah. ¿Ya? Perfecto. Ahora, sí. en una oración negativa, ¿sí? En una oración negativa yo voy a ocupar el sujeto más uh, el auxiliar. Ojo con eso. Ajá. Siempre, en el 90% de las estructuras gramaticales, el auxiliar es al que se le agrega la negación. El not. Ahí lo estoy contractuando, podría ser did not o didn't. Y luego, aquí respeto esa, esa regla, que si el auxiliar está presente, el verbo vuelve a su forma base, ya no lo necesito en pasado, ojo con eso. Y por último, siempre el complemento. Y lo que vimos el día de hoy, ¿cómo se hace una pregunta? El auxiliar viene al principio, como en toda pregunta cerrada, luego viene un sujeto, el verbo en su forma base. Recuerden que eso está siendo grabado y lo van a poder ver en YouTube también. ¿Ok? Y luego el complemento. No se les olvide el question mark. ¿Ok? Bien. ¿Cómo yo adquiero estructura gramatical? Volviendo a hacer el mismo ejemplo que hacíamos antes. Yo agarro un verbo y puedo decir work. ¿Es igual a qué? ¿Qué quiere decir work? Trabajo. Trabajar. Trabajar como verbo. Perfecto, muy bien. Trabajar. Agarro un sujeto. Aquí, olvídense de la tercera persona. Solo sigan la regla. ¿Sí? Es un verbo regular. Y digo, she worked. Aprendo nuevas palabras. The whole weekend. She worked the whole weekend. Negativa sería, Patricia. She didn't. She didn't. She didn't. Perfect. Si tienen, ¿cómo iría el verbo? Work, en su forma así. Original. Perfecto. Forma original. Excelente, chicas, muy bien. The whole weekend. Ok, y por último, la pregunta, ¿cómo iría Kenia? Did. Excelente, did. Ajá, Kenia. She. Work. The whole weekend. Perfect, yeah, the whole weekend. <laughs> Ahí están. ¿Ves? Qué fácil. Ya llevo una. Ahora, ¿qué tal si hago cinco? Ok. Entonces vengo, tomo mi listado de verbo y empiezo yo a hacer esa tarea todos los días. 
a repetir cinco veces, cinco verbos, positivo o negativo, pregunten cada verbo, ocupo colores, para que mi cerebro entienda que become ahora es became también. Begin es begun. ¿Ya? Y ahí vas. Ojo, el listado de verbos está dividido. Primero aparecen los irregulares y luego aparecerán los regulares y con esto vamos a cerrar. Quiero que noten este listado de verbos. Al modificar el verbo regular, solo se le agrega ed, pero hay tres reglas de pronunciación. ¿Sí? Entonces, acá en esta última columna se les ha agregado los tres sonidos. Son id, así, id, acted, por ejemplo, added, aided, arrested, assisted, attended, pero addressed, oigan, addressed. Mañana les voy a enseñar una técnica para identificar los tres sonidos del pasado simple con verbos regulares. Y la, el último sonido sería the, 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 por ejemplo, accompanied, accust, accustomed, agreed, annoyed, oí, answered, oí, answered. Solo el sonido de la... Ensor. No, es como ser la D, la, de, la lengua entre los dientes. Ensor. Sí. Y ahí va, mira. Estos sonidos son tres. Segundo. Y el último. Red, okay. Bien, chicos. Eh, los voy a ver mañana y les voy a enseñar cómo identificar. Hay dos métodos para identificar los verbos regulares y su pronunciación en el pasado. Vamos a repetir ¿Puede? de nuevo. Sí, Patricia. Solo si puede poner los ejemplos que puso utilizando las oraciones en las tres. O ya los borró. No, 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 aquí lo tengo. Esto exactamente se lo voy a enviar ahorita al chat. Ajá. Para que ustedes puedan ver cómo eh, la estructura, ¿no? No se les olvide eso. ¿Aún ven la pantalla toda gris? Sí. Sí, verdad. Voy a corregir eso. Ok. Bien, ahí les he enviado ya eh, los ejemplos. Los veo mañana. Eh, mm -hmm. Si tienen alguna pregunta, yo a las 10 termino de dar clases y ahí me dedico a contestarles sus inquietudes, ¿ok? Gracias. Thanks. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.